Uh, bonjour. Uh, my name is Leah Nangara. I'm a climate activist from Uganda, fighting, fighting for everyone in survival. I call myself the voice of the voiceless Africans. Ever since I got to know about climate change, my heart is saddened. It feels like I'm living a nightmare. My dreams are frustrated. My future is stolen. My present is broken. The climate isn't safe. And from that time, I stopped living like a child. I no longer cut cake on my birthdays. I instead plant trees as one of the ways to give back to the planet, to our dying planet. I mean, what better way to celebrate your birthday than to give a gift of life, which is a tree. I volunteer to be that wake up call to the sleeping humans every time I get any time I get an opportunity. The planet is undergoing a massive uncontrolled experiment, rapidly revealing what happens when 2.6 million pounds of carbon dioxide per second and still rising are added to the atmosphere. All of humanity is participating in this experiment, either directly contributing to it or feeling its impacts. Humans have already warmed the planet by at least one degree Celsius by burning fossil fuels that eject heat trapping gases into the atmosphere. Almost every part of the world is experiencing the effects of climate change. Half of the global population already lives in cities. And by 2050, two thirds of the world's people are expected to live in urban areas. But one of the most pressing problems facing cities is environmental degradation. There are for poor air and water quality, insufficient water availability, waste disposal problems, and high energy consumption were worsened by the increasing population and demands of urban environments. Strong city planning will be essential in managing this and other difficulties as the world urban areas fall. If you aren't terrified by the climate breakdown, you don't understand its full in irreversible implications. Strong city planning will be essential in managing this and other difficulties as the world urban areas swell. This is just the truth and there's a good reason to say it. So far we are not collectively scared enough to tear down the fossil fuel industry and that needs to change very fast. <coughs> when the world is trying to break away from fossil fuel, my nation and its neighbors are building a crude oil pipe. There are so many there are so many untold stories about the construction of the East African crude oil pipe, which is known as ECO. It is so hurting that no one is bothered of the lost, defer, of the rest, lost forest cover during the construction. No one is bothered of the lost homes of very many animals. No one is talking about the number of wild animals lost every day because of the construction of the East African crude oil. Who is there to stand in for the voiceless? Who cares what, he, what that happens out of the things that are achieved? In order to get to net zero, there's going to be need for governments to take bold decisions. We are not breaking our dependence on fossil fuels nearly fast enough. The gaps between words and actions are helping the fossil fuels companies grow and continue to pollute. There is need to ban most of the biggest city polluters Cities have to come up with strategies for reducing overall car use and promote emission-free modes of travel like walking and cycling, and even encourage public transport, which has to be convenient, accessible, and affordable to convince people to use. Local bond local architecture is a very important sector that needs to be given quality time. The world has witnessed what Mother Nature can do when not planned for. The stability of nature cannot can no longer be taken for granted. It is wise for low carbon design of buildings to go hand in hand with features that help mitigate the existing impacts of climate change, like heavy rainfalls and high temperatures. The way we get and use our energy consumes natural resources and emits greenhouse gases. You know, I, I, I'm, get, I'm getting tired of, we are running out of time to act. Every year we keep saying the same thing. What are we waiting for? For the last year to be cut, the last river to drive, what is that that you are waiting for to see? 
and you know that we already ran out of time. <coughs> there is an urgent need to touch renewable energy to achieve a better, just, and more sustainable future for the planet. We must come together and through grassroots advocacy, create the change we need to see. We can all make a difference. It is time for our leaders to act because our future depends on it. Thank you so much.